Hello, guys. Um, I don't know if you remember me mentioning that uh, we ordered a lawn sweeper. Maybe I didn't mention it. I don't remember. But anyhow, we ordered a lawn sweeper, and it was delivered Monday, and it is Friday right now. And it's still in pieces. Uh, Wednesday, we attempted to put it all together, and uh, this is as far as we got. And we think it's on right, but the instructions are just diagrams. Okay? And we also looked online at their videos, and uh, they weren't much better. Um, and we're missing one of the bolts. He had to find one in the garage here. But yeah, got the tools out, and I think that's one of the cover things. Uh, it's, uh, we're gonna attempt it. He's got, um, whoop, he's got tomorrow off. This is the second weekend this month that they've given him an entire weekend off. It's weird. It, this like never has happened before. He's been there over three years or no, two years? No, he's been there over three years, about three and a half years. And this is the first time ever that he's gotten two weekends off in a month. He rarely even gets off one weekend off. I mean, even that's like every several months. So, yeehaw. So we'll be, Lord willing, working on this tomorrow. Um, but I will show you why we have to use it. It's clumps like that. I don't know if it does it justice, but it's pretty thick. I just mowed yesterday, and there's lots of areas. Oh, I'm in the way. Lots of areas like that. I don't know if you can see it all out there too well, but there's lots of really clumpy areas. It's been really bad this year, and uh, it just doesn't look nice. So we thought we'd get a lawn sweeper to take care of that, plus the leaves that are and will continue to fall. Uh, yeah, that's why we have to get this swept up. Usually we're not picky. I mean, glass, grass clippings are good for the lawn, you know, but when it gets piled up like that, it's just, ugh, it, it uh, kind of deadens the grass underneath and everything. It just, it just looks horrible. It's just horrible. I don't know if I can get it any closer or not, but yeah, there's big piles of it out there. Not good. It wouldn't be a crazy cat video without a cat. Huh, Pepper? He's still outside. He doesn't like being very close to us. Part of his feralness that's still in him, evidently. But he's a sweetheart. He really is. He's been, when we're inside, he gets up to my face sometimes and gives me a head bunt and super affectionate, but outside he just has this weirdness about him. I don't know why. I don't know why. Why is that, Pepper? Huh? He watches my feet to see if I, if they're walking towards him or by him. As long as it's not, my feet are not pointing towards him, he's fine. Huss, how the hell you doing, Pepper? You such a, oh, so sleepy. It's warm out today. After a nice cool day yesterday, it's pretty hot out today and humid. It was almost like fall yesterday. It didn't get above 70 and it was so nice. I picked this up at a garage sale, oh, when was it? A couple weeks ago? Two or three weeks ago? It was like 50 cents. Couldn't resist. Because it's so true. I'm inside where it's cool now. Uh, it's getting pretty steamy out there, but it's a gorgeous day. Uh, today was my uh, twice a month shopping with my friend, and we had a really good time, found some good deals, but I didn't feel like doing a grocery haul. I'm just really tired and didn't feel like uh, taking the time out to do that. I just wanted to get stuff put away. I still have to divide up 
uh, the big thing of ground beef I got. I got it at Aldi. It was only $1.99 a pound for the ground beef. It's the fattier one, you know, the 73, what would that be, 17? Something like that. 73.27. Yeah, I think that's it. 73.27. I don't know. I, I, I'm not good with math right now. <laughs> so, but anyhow, it's the fattier cut, which is very actually very hard to find at a lot of grocery stores. So I was impressed that Aldi has that. So I got one of those great big tubs of it. So I got to divide that up and put it in one pound packages. Um, went there and went to Walmart, went to Wegmans, but I didn't buy anything there. But although I will eventually when I need to um, get uh, my uh, probiotics. Matter of fact, right behind, because they're in the refrigerator, right behind this, where is it? These are the probiotics that I get. Women 15 and wiser. I like that. But it has the 85, uh, where is it, 85 billion um, live cultures and 33 strains. My naturopath wants me on at least 10 strains, and this surpasses that. And she said, I, I think I can lower it to 40 to 50 billion. Um, but I'm going to finish this off. I, I got to double check on that. When I go back, I'll ask her, or I'll text her and say, when did you say I could decrease the uh, uh, amount of uh, cultures? Because I can't remember. That's my, th my thing anymore, not remembering. But uh, people complimented me on my, uh, my necklace today and my shirt. And it's nothing fancy, it's just a purple, purplish shirt, but um, I only paid like a quarter to yard sale for this, and I think a dollar for the shirt at a thrift store. So yeah, big spender here, um, but it was, it's, it was nice to be complimented on that, because I thought, well, the lady at the credit union is like, Wow, where where do you where are you going all dressed up? And I didn't think I was all that dressed up except for the necklace, because uh, before I left, I asked my husband like, is this too, you know, too much for going grocery shopping? You know, adding this sparkly necklace. And he said no. So so it's uh, and I've noticed too. Have any of you ladies noticed? When you dress nice, when you look, you know, um, look like you've actually tried, <laughs> nice, that um, men are more apt to open the doors for you. I have noticed that when I dress, besides like um, jeans and t-shirt, you know, the really comfy stuff or sweatpants or whatever, I mean, guys will still open the door, but it just seems more so when you're dressed nicely. I, I, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but it sure seems like they, they go more out of their way, and they smile at you more, um, they just are nicer or something, I don't know, maybe it's just me, um, but so I had a good day shopping, we went out to, um, Ruby Tuesdays, which I've never been to before, and I was very impressed, they were very friendly, the food was really good, the prices weren't bad, but we always go, you know, get the lunch specials, and um, they were just uh, really, really, really good, and they um, gave us cards to fill out so you get on their, their email list, and they said that uh, they'll be sending an email for uh, to get a free entree, so next time we go there, we can use that and get free food. We'll probably have to pay for drinks, but so what? And we saw this other restaurant on our way out that just opened, and it was chopped something or something chopped. And I can't remember what it was called. But anyhow, that's where we plan on going next time we go in, because I looked it up online, and their menu looked really good, and the prices weren't bad. So, um, yeah, we got that planned out.
because we always go out for lunch. Uh, we walked through the mall because she had to go to the jewelers to get a battery in her watch. Because you take it to um, Walmart and unless you bought the watch there, they will not change a battery or do a blooming thing with it. Liability. So years ago you could, but they, their policy is new. And our jeweler that we had close by here, uh, they retired. Um, so can't do that. So now you got to go clear into Erie, which is a good 20 to 30 miles, just to go get a battery changed in your watch. So while we're in town, we stopped by the mall and did that. And I got a free ring cleaning, so it's nice and sparkly now. I can see all, all of them sparkling. Um, what else? Went through the pet section. They have uh, Heartland pets in the mall. Uh, I would take them all home if I could. They had uh, pet rats in there. My friend, she doesn't want any part of rats. She thinks they're disgusting. I love them. Uh, I've seen people with them. I've petted them. They're not mean in the least. They're smart. They're clean. I mean, they'll perch on their shoulder and their little noses are twitching. They're just so cute. And um, I'd love to have one. If it wasn't ha for four cats, I would have rats or maybe my husband would love to have a couple of ferrets. Um, I kn have known people with ferrets and they can be very, um, they're very active and they can escape in a heartbeat because they're so quick and slinky and everything. Um, but they require quite a bit more care. I'm not sure about the rats, if they would be hard. To, I don't think so. I don't know for sure. Um, but yeah, ferrets look like a blast to have. And I, ha I, I babysat for a family that had uh, a couple of ferrets and they were so much fun so much fun but man they wore you out because you had to watch them so they wouldn't get into anything or try to escape and stuff oh they were they're just so cute oh they're just so cute and they had kittens there oh 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 my friend she had a kitten uh the neighbors found a kitten in their uh plants on the porch and brought it over to my friend and she ended up taking it in it was only like four weeks old way too young to be separated from mommy and but she took it to the vet and and uh it's perfectly healthy just had some you know fleas and even had lice um still had the blue tint you know so it was four weeks old and uh but uh she's doing great running around the house and everything and uh got She's uh, pretty much rid of the lice and the fleas. They treated her for that. Uh, she just loves her to death. And she is so cute. I haven't seen her in person, but I've seen pictures of her. She's so cute. She's a black and white little kitty cat. Uh, I'll have to get over there and, and uh, see her one of these days. But, uh, yeah, my friend, she, does, she prefers having grown cats that have already been trained. She's not particularly fond of training up from a kitten but she says she absolutely loves this little bugger so uh, I'm glad that she has a good home it just makes you wonder where she came from uh, did was she a feral kitten and the mommy something happened or did somebody you know drop off the kittens she was the only one there there was no other kittens which is weird you know because unless the rest of them died or something she was the only survivor I don't know but um, just to think of somebody dropping off a kitten that young or dropping several of them off in like different spots and just I don't know how people can live with themselves doing that to animals it's just not right uh, and that's how we've gotten uh, pretty much all of our cats have been drop-offs except Georgia she was the uh, her and her sister uh, well, her sister's gone. Unfortunately, she got hit by a car. But uh, my husband got them from an owner, you know, picked them out and brought them home. And they were a good eight weeks old, so they weren't too young or anything. They were so adorable. And uh, 
but she, they're the only ones that we've actually went and um, picked out. The other ones have picked us. They've just showed up on, literally on our doorsteps. Uh, but they make the greatest cast. They seem like eternally grateful, you know. Okay, so over 10 minutes long already. I've bilber blabbed enough and I'm tired. I still got to divide up the ground beef that I got at Aldi. Uh, it was one of those nice big tubs and uh, it was only like a, it was $1.99 a pound. So that was a good deal because at Walmart it was like $2.49 or something. So uh, I got a good deal on that. I got a good deal on a different stuff. I just didn't feel like doing a grocery haul. Um, so I'm going to get off here, put that away, get cleaned up, get something to eat here in a little while. It's only going on five, but I'm getting kind of hungry. I've started my intermittent fasting today, so I'm still, you know, I'm adjusting to that again. I was doing so good, um, both keto and intermittent fasting before I got sick. I was only eating one or two meals a day, typically two, but sometimes it would end up only being one, depending on how I felt. But, you know, the intermittent fasting was going great. I was feeling good. And then I got sick, and that just threw everything off. And now I feel like I'm strong enough, and I think um, it'll, uh, I'll do okay on it. You know, I'm going to try it and see, like, for about a week, unless I, you know, think I can't do it anymore, but it's supposedly supposed to be really good for everything. So I'm going to get back onto that, because I just feel like I've been eating too much, too often. i got to stop the snacking. So I'm going to uh, attempt that, get back on track with it. Um, I've started exercising again. I've exercised three times this week with the walk at home thing on YouTube and uh, that makes me feel better. Um, when the weather starts cooling down consistently I plan on going for like maybe a mile long walk. I don't know if I'll be up to doing the three and five miles that I used to do but I think I can handle a mile because the walk at home ones are like a mile in 15 20 minutes so i should be able to handle that walking outside uh, it's just been too hot and the timing of the cooler weather just hasn't correlated with when i can personally go out there so um yeah so Everybody have, let's see, it's Friday already, and my hubby has off tomorrow, so that's cool. We might, I know we got to tackle that lawn sweeper, but we might tackle, not tackle, we might go to see if there's any yard sales in the area and go off and do that. And then uh, the Steelers are playing tomorrow. I can't remember who they're playing, but... Uh, they're playing tomorrow afternoon, so my hubby will be able to see it, because he has tomorrow off. Um, it's just a preseason game. It doesn't really matter, but um, he likes to watch the Steelers. I don't mind either. I'm not a huge sports fan by any means, but I enjoy a game here and there. You know, He enjoys it. Why not? So, anyhow... Blubber, blabber, blubber, blabber. Uh, so you guys all take care, and I hope you've had a fantastic Friday and that you will have a sensational Saturday. And um, maybe I will do a little ditty on us doing the uh, lawn sweeper, uh, either trying to put it together or um, after it's all put together. Hopefully that will happen. So you guys take care and we'll see you next time.